Keith Rock went down there yesterday early for about two hours just to kick it with old friends and god damn boy it seemed like it was about over 50 some odd people that ain't seen me in a minute you know not just from the two live stew tailgate from other tailgates you know that I know and um hey man I had a nice little rubbing elbows you know um you know, just saying what's happening, you know, and um, a lot of people now know that I do a show, you know what I'm saying, the ones that didn't, but a half of them knew, you know, I also seen Waterhead walk out there yesterday, big up the Waterhead, you know what I'm saying, but um, we gonna get into a lot of topics, you know, in two hours, because, you know, Chief got to go to work, so, you know, we gonna get a lot of topics and um, try to make this thing happen, am I right, intern? Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, um, first and foremost, we're, oh, we're sponsored by um, Hennessy Fine Grapes of Cognac. You know what I'm saying? Hennessy does what it does. And I heard that um, new people brought Hennessy out. So it's a lack of Hennessy in the United States. Until they get that shipping rights, uh, it's going to be a minute before we get a lot of big supplies of Hennessy. Also, Nesty Fine Spring Water. You know what I'm saying? Um, the Chief drinks that during the show. Uh, but right now, Chief drinking some seltzer, man, because I don't know, something, something tried to keep me from doing the show today. You know, something's on my stomach. I don't know what the fuck it was, but, you know, I, I worked it out, you know. No, I don't want to hear no fucking comments about go to the bathroom. No, that ain't the problem. I wasn't the problem. I had a pain. I had to get rid of it. I had to take something for it. You know, and also uh, sponsoring this Pepsi. You got the right one, baby. Don't drink Coke, drink Pepsi. Yeah. Five a lot of people here in the uh, uh, Southeast region that love Pepsi Cola. Pepsi Cola Company is down here. Also, you got, I mean, not Pepsi, Coca Cola, my bad. <coughs> Rewind. Five a lot of people down here that drink Coke because you got the Coca Cola um, beverage down here. But you also have Pepsi down here strong, you know. Strong in arms, strong in, just strong in Coca-Cola out of the box, you know. But anyway, uh, let's get on, man. I, I got to do my little roll call, you know what I'm saying. First and foremost, man, we got S-Squad up in the house first. We got the legal representation of S-Squad. He's also the number cruncher of S-Squad. He's also the hammer. He also a Georgia State alumnus. He goes by the name of Schlago Squad up. Next in the house, we got my partner from the bottom to the top. We got the microwave, Jay Fitch, Esquad affiliate. He also has another show called uh, Cooking with the Microwave that comes on his Two Lives Do platform tomorrow and Wednesday and Friday. But Friday's show is a new show. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad people are staying busy these days and staying out them streets, you know. But his new show is called Man Behind the Mic with him and the man De Leon, Esquad affiliate. X gonna give it to ya. Next in the house, from the Gump, that's Alabama. He's a road tired and Falcon fan. He also stay out in that St. Pete, uh, Tampa Bay area. We got my main man, 334 Bama Boy. When you hear somebody say your name is 334, either that's your weight. Or that's what you throwing down when you throw it down? Or what is it? You know, I don't know. He said he 334 Bama boy. And he said he got some apples up and somebody need to pay him. You know, so I hear you 334. But out of Duluth, Minnesota, we have Boxing Extraordinary. He probably watched the big fight this weekend. You know what I'm saying? Uh, very intelligent young man when it comes down to talking about anything in life and sports history. We have my main man, R.C. Cameron. What's up, R.C.? R.C. in here kind of early. Next in the house, we have, what do you say, Chief? Are you going to call Odell on today's show? <laughs> Next in the house, we have the number one troller of all trollers. He's that sushi rice eating, Boston green tea, drinking out the harbor. He holds Grady the flated balls and also the dirty job straps that the Giants knocked off him at both Super Bowls. Two of the Super Bowls that they lost. Right? And he also is just a straight up pain. And you know what? We got Grego, X-Squad affiliate. Squad up! 
，二十二，过来跟我见面叫他走走。Yeah. Uh, next in the house, we have another X Squad. Now, X Squad coming up here quick today. Thanks for the support, man. We try to do that, man. You know what? If all X Squad came up in here, we got over fifty members in X Squad. If everybody from X Squad came up in here, I don't think I can do a fucking roll call, man. I just call you as I reach out, you know. But next in the house, we have my main man. He said he's from the South Side of Chicago, Illinois. Right, but he still haven't showed me that paperwork. But we know him from being from Little Rock, Arkansas, down to Suey Country. <laughs> we got my main man, Air Squad affiliate, Big Al. What's up, Big Al? Thank you for coming in here, Big Al. Yeah, yes, yeah, he yeah, he love that hog boy. Sweet, sweet. Next in the house, we have my main man. He's from the Orleans. He's coming off a loss from yesterday. But he resigns in Kanye's Georgia. He's the video shoot photographer. Area. We have my main man, Easy Does It Squad Up. Yeah, what's up, Easy? Thank you for coming in, man. That was a hard loss yesterday, man. I thought y'all was gonna get in them boys' ass, but you know, uh, gotta just you know do what you gotta do to make it all happen. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let me see. Let me see. Oh man, man! Somebody had my damn. You know what I just noticed? Son? Somebody had my damn computer unlocked. If it wasn't for, I mean, unplugged. If it wasn't for the search. If it wasn't for this little box coming up saying you got fourteen percent left on your battery, I'm like on my battery. I looked down, the fucking light was off, man. So I'm wondering what's going on. We got gremlins in this motherfucker or what? Next from out of Jersey City, New Jersey. Home of the Chief Rocker Toe. I used to live, I grew up in Jersey City before I moved over to Newark. Uh, we had my main man, X Squad Affiliate Squad up. We got DJ, 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 DJ Knox. Knox, who made a good. Um, he made a good drop for me and Miss Corey Lee for the uh, After Dark show. And uh, we're going to talk about that a little later. The show that came on Saturday night that a lot of people are missing. And you're missing out on a good show. Next in the house, we got my main man, Fuqua Shabazz. Esquad affiliate. I heard Fuqua is a 6'9". Ex-basketball player. But he loves the golf now. You know what I'm saying? 6'9", he should be able to knock the motherfucking ball up over the tree. You know what I'm saying? Like 18 country miles. You know? But uh, we don't know. I ain't never seen Fuquan golf. I may go out there on the court with, course with him one day and see what he know. But a chief ain't doing no fucking golfing. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to drive the car and be sipping on some beers and let him do his thing. Next in the house, X squad a failure. x squad Out of Dallas, Texas. You know, cowboy... Cowgirl lover, I, I forgot. I can't be calling a cowboy because they call girls to me. He took a big loss yesterday, so they better not say shit to me. You know what I'm saying? And I just heard that um, the judge denied um, Ezekiel Elliott. Um, um, I didn't get to read it all, but I just see the judge denied. So if anybody see that and come up, let me see in the chat later. But we got my main man Ben, BS3 Sports in the house. What's up, Benny Ben? Tuck it on the chin last night, yesterday, huh? Yeah. You thought you, you thought I was a donut. You tried to... Oh, uh, let me see. Next in the house, we have another X-Squad affiliate. We riding high. Riding high. And this young lady's coming off a big win yesterday. The mighty Kansas City Chiefs tucked down the microwave Philadelphia Pigeons. We have my main girl... Out of Portland, Oregon, Tiffany P and P. What's up, mommy? Thank you for coming in. Yes, yes, yes. Uh oh, we got a man who got a lot of bragging rights because I'm gonna speak on this subject. He's staying in the DMV right now. He's been living in the DMV, but he's originally from that Tampa Bay, St. Pete area. He's a Tampa Bay Buccaneer. And he's in here early, so he must have got the alert. He goes by the name of J.B. Jennings. What's up, J.B.? Yeah, big game tonight for us. You got that right. 
You know I'm going to talk about it. Next in the house, got my main man, Troller All Trollers, him and Greg will run a neck and neck. He goes by the name of Clay Pooty T. Pooty Tang. Clay Pooty Tang Davis. Damn. What's up, Pooty Tang? <laughs> Goddamn. Clay Pooty Tang Davis. Uh, yeah, you're right, JB. I'm going to talk big shit today. You, don't you hear it in my voice? No, and by the way, number one Chief Rocket Jersey Vern here on a Monday recap show. You know what I'm saying? From the weekend. You know? Uh, Monday Blues is the name of the show, you know. But you see, the Chief ain't got no blues. I'm feeling good. If anything, I've seen the blues. Hey, you got your white shoes on, baby. Uh, Slugger said, waiting to hear Chief backpedal like the great Deion Sanders when talking about them. Dirt. Oh, ain't no backpedaling. And no, you just keep your ears on. Take all the sugar daddies out your ears, Falcon fans. And a couple other teams, take the sugar daddies out your ear, because I'm about to bit, uh, blast off on your ass. Let me see, Atlanta Jersey's second favorite team is the Falcons. Come on, Al. Stop it. Who's your first favorite team? And by the way, I ain't hear you saying you've been boycotting lately, so you must have watched them Bears yesterday. You were so impressed about them last week, so you snuck and watch them, you know? But you, it's all good, man. Watch football. You love football, watch it, man. Don't let nothing stop you from watching it. Protest in another way. You know what I'm saying? Protest in a way that's going to help us out as a nation. You know what I'm saying? Like the Nation of Islam said, help us one and all and help us do what we got to do. Next in the house, we have the lovely Georgia Bulldog, Georgia University grad. She's a true believer of them dogs. She said, go dogs, go. You know what I'm saying? And the dogs is 2-0, and o, so nobody can say nothing to her. You know what I'm saying? And they start the SEC schedule next week. So, big up to Miss Thorny Sweet. What's up, Thorny? Thank you for coming in, Mommy. I, I appreciate you being here. Definitely, definitely. But we're going to talk some shit today. Oh, my God. Guess who stepped in the room? Goodbye. Coming in from the ATL, we have my main man. He usually be here, but he's been missing shit. But he'll come to the Chiefs show, especially after his team that won two games. Why is that? Peter Quirrell. What's up, PQ? Thank you for coming in. That damn PQ that snuck up in the house. Next in the house, X squad affiliate, uh, the Barbershop Sport Talk podcast, Trey and Maestro. But you... You got to guess who's up in the house. Brooklyn, Brooklyn, Brooklyn's in the house, how, house. We got Trey Frazier up in the house. What it up, Trey? What it be like? How about them Yankees? That's right, baby. Yeah. Y'all y'all keep doubting Chief, man. We make it to the playoff, which we all going to do. I want the division, but we make it to the playoff, boy. It's all over, man. You know what I'm saying? The Bronx Bombers, they type of year is October. You know what I'm saying? Ask Reggie. That's why they call him Mr. October. Here goes Clay. New Yorkers love to claim Jordan was born in New York, so that applies to Chief. That applies to Chief. I never say about no Jordan. I don't even like Michael Jordan until to be truthful. You know what I'm saying? My team was the Knicks. He put a dag in our heart four times from going to the motherfucking championship. You know what I'm saying? So um, don't put me in that shit. You talk about them motherfuckers you be around, Clay Davis. Don't even put me in there, all right? You know? Shit. Next in the house, we got Jay to the Y. And he always carry a three. We got JY3 up in this building. What's up, JY? Thank you for coming in. Next in the house, I gave him a, a little intro coming into the game. But we have the CEO, X Squad affiliate. You know what I'm saying? My partner. We got, he has the Kicking It With KC show come on Thursday night. We got KC Ingram up in the house. What's up, KC? The IT man. The internet man. So if you have IT problems or internet problems, or you want to build a, 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 a website, get with KC. Next in the house, we have from Esquad Affiliate, the lovely lady in the house. She's also the right hand of me and Kesey because she puts out all the info that need to be put out. She's round the clock 
doing her thug fizzle on this here.